Ah, hey friends. So it is Saturday uh, afternoon actually. A little late start from what I usually would do with meal prep. Hair's a mess, just finally got a shower because life, newborn. Today, we're gonna do some meal prepping. And just to preface everything, what I like to do with my meal prep is I find things that Lauren doesn't usually eat or things that have been, I don't wanna say sitting for a while, but that we haven't used in a little bit. So today I have some chicken tenders that I'm gonna be baking along with some steak that we just picked up. Lauren doesn't particularly, particularly like steak, so I'm gonna go with that today as part of my meal prep. That'll be the main meat with some sides. Getting back into the groove. Um, quick update, newborn. He's had some trouble sleeping. Um, <laughs> just hitting that growth spurt. Nothing we can't handle or get through or any of that. So if I look tired, that's probably why. Yeah, other than that, Ella's killing it. We went swimming. We're gonna go swimming again this afternoon. While hanging out with Ella, we played with her for a little bit. She likes to do her own thing, so she'll go off swimming. And when she was doing that, and I wasn't talking with family or hanging out, um, got some exercise in. So going back to the roots with it getting warmer out and doing the pool exercises to take a little stress off the joints, things like that, and just happy to be here. Um, another thing since last video, some scale vic non-scale victories. Um, Lauren actually ordered me some shorts because my other shorts were getting a little too big. At my largest point, I was in a size 48. I had a few size 46 pants that fit and would stretch, so I wore those too. But Lauren went on to Old Navy. They actually, they were having a sale and ordered me a size 42 and you know uh, six sizes not that much but they're actually too big still so non-scale victories we're we're doing good there uh, just got some quick things to do gonna do the cooking and I have to organize underneath of our I'm not gonna open it because it's a mess in there but I'm gonna organize underneath here and over here because pretty much what we did unfortunately is we would wash the dishes and just kind of toss them in. So I want to get some organization in there. This way I can get my uh, meal prep storage put in there and get to work on that. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work and do that. And I'll show you the finished product. I don't want to show you the before. Before is terrible. We'll show you the after. So I stand corrected. It's not too bad, but it definitely needs some organization. All right, guys. So we're down here on the floor. These are the ones that um, were in the container or in the drawer there that I'm going to be organizing and those are just some extras we have. Now here is what it looks like when you unbox it. Obviously I'm going to wash these so I'll do that really quickly but they come lids together and then you have like some small containers and some other uh, storage containers. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of those clean and I like to match them up like put the lids on them. So I'm going to go do that as I sit Indian style on the floor and I won't have any issue getting up, which, miracle. So while I'm thinking about it and unpacking this box, mild controversy. Is it tub-aware? tub -aware? tub -aware? How about I just say meal prep containers? Meal prep containers. All right, guys, so I washed those and put them away along with the oven pan there. So I didn't use all of them. That's nowhere near all of them, but that's really all we'll need. We don't need a whole ton. I'd rather keep them in a box or in a storage somewhere. So then when things happen, like one breaks, one melts, gets old, anything, we can just replace it. All right guys, so Lauren came home from- Is this your vlog or my vlog? My vlog. Oh. Uh, she came home and I did something. You guys saw what I did along with Elle. Hi Elle. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, and little guy here. We took a drive. He's snoring away. I don't know where he gets his cheeks from. I know. Must be the neighbor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I did something and I wanted to get your reaction. Okay. So now you gotta figure out what I did. I thought he shaved his face. And yeah. I got scared. She was like, Did you what did you do? <laughs> so yeah, we'll see if she can figure it out. <laughs> well the box of that is open. Okay. Yeah, I left some evidence because I was quick trying to grab it. Hi, there I am. Did you clean did you clean the cabinets? I don't know, did I? John! <laughs> oh babe. So I'll quick explain <laughs> what I did. Bowls. Pots, pans, all of that are in this one. Okay. Tupperware and like the oven pan, the big one that won't fit in. Say it else. again, Tupperware. That's what I said. <laughs> I, I did that joke. I was like, Tupperware, Tupperware, Tupperware. Wrong. Tub 
So was, yeah. Thank you. That's awesome. Babe, no, that's I, really I figured, great. And there's a ton extra that I figured we're not going to use. So some of these we can. We'll, we'll give some to my mom. Yeah, that was my plan. Um, Ella does not want to swim today. Okay. But I did make a plan for tomorrow. She wants to swim tomorrow. Okay. I know. Your baby's waking up. I hear him. Thank you. Thank you for not shaving your face, mm -hmm. too. But, yeah, so we're going to get started on uh, meal prepping now. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything ready well, to go. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, it's on oh, me. is that your camera? Yeah. Yours is sitting over there. I just had to use this. Oh, okay. Couldn't find the other one, so we'll probably have to order some. Uh, do you want to split a built bar with me? Yeah. All right, y'all. So speaking a little more quiet because baby's sleeping. Well, I guess I can speak regular. We want him to get used to noise, but uh, steak is in the pan. And this steak actually was like, uh, I believe $8 for the whole package. And I always buy cheaper steak for my meal preps just so I don't really see the reason in spending like $30 for steak. If I'm the only one eating it, it doesn't matter. It's just fuel. So, and then I have my chicken tenders and I season them really, it's relatively easy. I just season them with Everglades seasoning. Uh, this one is gluten-free, no MSG. So this is the one I'm using. And like I said, the only issue with this one is that sodium count. So I try not to use too much of it. As I say that, of course, it flies out of the thing and I use more than I wanted. All right, so I set the uh, oven to a 425, it just preheated. And usually I'll toss this in for about 20 minutes and to give it a check and see what it looks like. So let's do that. All right, guys, and if you saw Lauren's grocery haul, um, we did get some fresh asparagus from Sam's when we went, and this is the leftover. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and toss this. I have a little bit of oil in the pan, and I just let it slow cook while the meat's cooking. Um, yeah, that's really about it. I'll add some garlic about halfway through and let it cook. All right, so I did add 10 minutes to the meat because it's nowhere near done. These are slow cooking, so I let them go. And then what I'm going to add is cauliflower. Mashed cauliflower, I should say. Uh, it is roasted garlic, which seven grams of carbs per serving, so it keeps your carbs down um, and gives you a feeling almost like mashed potatoes. We like to put cheese and bacon bits on top, so. And then what I'm doing here is actually cooking up, slow cooking some egg whites. And that'll be for lunch slash breakfast. If I'm doing something physical in the morning, need that protein, I'll do that. Hey, you wanna come say hi to everybody? Okay, bye. No. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm doing now, so. It looks so good, babe. Wow. Yeah, it, I mean, it's. I mean, it's chicken and steak. That's what I'm saying. I told them, it's simple, it's quick. Could I make it even more healthy by doing like fresh mashed cauliflower, things like that? Yes, but the main objective I want to accomplish with my meal prep is quickness and healthier than what I normally would eat if I was, let's say making a sandwich or making something like that. Also, I can't be the only person that when they're cooking, they hate having people in the kitchen with them. Yeah. That is like my number one pet peeve. I don't know why, can't explain it, but I just wanna have the ability to free roam and grab what I need and not have people in the kitchen with me. Call me grouchy, call me whatever, but we'll call it grouchy. it's just what I prefer. All right, so slight crisis, we ran out of veggies. No problem. I'll pop a bag of probably broccoli because I know that's one of Lauren's least favorites in and go ahead and uh, fill that into the steak. So I cooked broccoli and Lauren thought it was my broccoli that smelled. And it turns out our child is uh, working on his own broccoli smell over there. Yeah, oh yeah. TMI, but hey. Um, I went ahead and put some broccoli in with the steak and the cauliflower there. And then what I decided to do, as I showed you a little bit, but uh, making some steak and eggs for a breakfast or maybe a lunch. All right, y'all, so it is complete. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven meals out of that. And you may hear the coffee brewing in the background. Needed my afternoon coffee pick me up. So overall, that's, like I said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven meals. Not, it may be seven days worth, but I may eat like one for breakfast if I'm lifting and one for at lunch or anything like that. So that'll be good. We'll get those put away in the uh, refrigerator. And I think overall that probably took me an hour of true time. Uh, 
the longest part, of course, meat cooking in the oven, but you just put that in there and leave it. So I'm just watching you, sorry. She's burping the baby, so I'm just watching her. Oh, I did tell them in the beginning about how um, I'm down almost six pant sizes from the ones you bought me at Old Navy, and even those are big. I know. So. It's pretty cool. It is. It's awesome. Like six is, doesn't seem like a lot, but it feels good that we were like, well, probably this size. We order it and it's just still a little big, so. But I'm gonna go take care of this, take care of my little ones. And, and he took care of some business himself, so. But thank you guys so much for all on the positivity and the congratulations on the last video. We appreciate that. You know, thank you for being along for the ride. Welcome John back, everybody. He's back. Till next time, remember, we got this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, friends.